Builder Hall 10 is here as part of the new update. Let's head across the water. Oh, looks like we have a tutorial first for the new Builder Base 2.0 before we can upgrade to Builder Hall 10. You probably know about this. I got a bit carried away swinging my hammer. Do you think we could max this? We're going to give it a good try. I found a whole new cave, so I built a few things inside it. Who's Otto? It's level one as well, the outpost. He's a little robot buddy I built to help me out. Out. There is Otto. Okay, it wants us to click the reinforcement camp as well. I thought it might be tricky to attack others who have two stages. Not saying you're bad at attacking. Well, what are you saying, Master Builder? There is the reinforcement camps for the second stage. I will leave it to you to figure out the rest. Let's bring the Builder Hall down the bottom. I will give you recommendations on what to upgrade first as we move through. It looks like we have to rebuild a bunch of these first, but the Battle Copter is in the Builder Base update pack. Let's buy every single one of these. We already have code Judo NZ with the C in the top right, but that is a way you can support my channel and it is always much appreciated. Oh my gosh, it threw it across to the second village. We've already got a bunch of loot as well, but let's purchase the rest of these. Now we've got more than enough loot. <laughs> Still need to do these two buildings. Right, let's quickly get the reinforcement camp. Just going to use a book of building on that. And then the healing hut. This is one that we will be upgrading. And I'm definitely not using a book of building on that because it is only one day to construct. Here we go then. The brand new expo. I explained this and the electro fire wizard. But here we go. Let's just use that book of building. Are there new offers in the shop? Oh no, it's the defense. I thought there was like a builder hall 10 pack or something. Let's get the expo though. We should build that straight away. Book of building. Let's go. I don't know why I am scrolling over to the first village each and every time. Maybe that'll take a bit of getting used to. First things first, we should go ahead and upgrade. Can I find it? The star laboratory. Let's have a look at this. Star lab looks like it is the most expensive. There is the gem mine, but for me, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm actually going to use my hammer of building here. And what that means is we can begin upgrading all of the troops. They all go to level 20 now. But first, I want to find my barracks. Is it on this base? Yes, it is. Electro Fire Wizard. Let's go, my friend. I do really like these minimum troop levels that have been added. I know it kind of hurts a little bit that you had to spend that initially, but it is all for the benefit of the game and newer players. I am going to max this wizard now. He is so cool. So let's use... Is a book of fighting worth it here? Or do I go with the gems to begin with? How many do I even have? 13 book of fighting. Oh my goodness. You know what though? Some of the others might end up being more costly. Like let's say to get the power pack at a level 20 or something. So I'm going to stick with the gems for the moment. Upgrade him to level 19. I will use the book of fighting now because on the last upgrade, why don't we use the hammer of fighting? Electro fire wizard maxed. Obviously, in terms of the other troops, it does depend on the strategy you like to use, but I will say the baby dragons, very powerful in Builder Base 2.0. So that is one of the troops I am going to be getting to maximum level, just like that. The hog gliders, they take a bit of getting used to, but trust me, I have a video coming out showing you some Builder Hall 10 strategy and the mass hog gliders, they work brilliantly. Be sure to subscribe to see that hog glider. Does that say it? Upgrading Hog Glider level six. Something new, post update, one of the bugs they will have to fix. Following that, I would say the Sneaky Archer, Cannon Cart, and the Power Pecker are the upgrades I would go with. For the moment, I'm going to hold back on my Elixir because we also need to be upgrading our heroes, the Battle Machine and the Battle Copter. Let's actually go with the Expo. This is something I would highly recommend getting to max level. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to use the Book of Building on the Expos. Let's go. Level four and level five. Yes. So cool that it is now ground or air. Okay, massively important. Before I run out of the golden elixir that we just bought, we need to upgrade the storages before we start using those runes. Only four days to upgrade, so that is one I will use gems with. And make sure you do check all of these because it does mean when you're using the magic items, you're going to get better value. Yep, there is one storage on each village. No mistakes made yet, but you know me, maybe we'll get to it. Now, Otto's outpost, clearly I would recommend trying 
trying to get back to level 10. Actually, I was going to go and show some other defenses, but I'll tell you which ones you need to upgrade once we've got this to level 10. Let's just power through this and we can see how it changes aesthetically on each level. And there is Otto upgrading his own house because now we have Bob, who is the sixth builder now over in the home village because we have two permanent builders in this village when you get to build a hall six you automatically get given auto it enables this whole two-stage system to work but then the previous sixth builder is now bob if you had the sixth builder previously you automatically get bob now you have to gear up three defenses in the home village upgrade any troop to level 18 in the builder base so just press on with whatever one you're closest with or the cheapest any defense defense and then total hero levels of 45 Otto's outpost level 10 massively important and this is where you do need the elixir healing hut right now i only get four percent healing from any surviving troops going from stage one to two you will find out the whole two-stage system is not as easy as it looks and you want to have the highest amount of healing possible can we upgrade anything else the gold mines i mean not high on the priority list, but before I use a rune, I guess that's probably what I should upgrade. What I should also do, to be fair, since I have two builders, is just set one of them away. We have 13 builder elixir runes. That is going to help us massively. Level six is the maximum for this. I have a lot of book of building though, right? 22. Ah, oh, we're out again. What? Let's upgrade the battle copter then. Let's get him upgrading. Any of the spare elixir, we can obviously do that. Healing hut to maximum honestly it's one of the most important upgrades for you definitely recommend getting that to level six i also need to pull these into the base since they migrated the bases everyone got predetermined layouts and then now with the new buildings they're just all over the place i will be bringing out a video with the best bases for each level now let's flip to the defenses for a bit the air bombs is one that i would highly recommend getting to maximum level roaster is kind of similar to the air bomb i guess so that is also high on the priority because it can fire at both the air and ground troops and then the lava launcher i would be upgrading rune of gold okay i'll come back to the mine we can remember about that and use it to spend some of the gold now the mega tesla like i said i'd upgrade the other ones first but i would then go to the mega tesla your key defenses they're obviously the ones you want to focus on multi mortar being another one we're already out of builder gold yeah let's maybe do the mine to level nine and then i was going to do the push trap yeah there we go we've got five of them to upgrade that's a nice way to get rid of some gold actually so that we do get maximum value out of the runes multi mortar that's what we're going to do with the book of building losing my train of thought a little bit but obviously trying to give you some advice as we move through as well giant cannon let's go with that then like i said after the core defenses i would rotate to the archer towers and then the firecrackers i would say after that oh that almost worked out perfectly look Twenty thousand builder gold and i am just using these runes like nothing we haven't even started the walls yet but i'm pretty sure i can max the walls out actually the hidden tesla is definitely one i would be upgrading because the cannon carts they look really overpowered right when you outrange the buildings but if a hidden tesla pops it's just going to take them down super super fast now the crusher again you can splash through it or use the battle machine ability or anything like that really effectively to take it down i'm actually going to recommend the firecrackers first firecrackers where are you at let's get all of those to maximum level how many book of building do we have i feel like we're just going through them like nothing we've still got 11 pretty soon we're gonna have all of these done though and i think yeah that's us entering the shop might as well get the 14,000. code judo is still in there two more firecrackers and we basically get one defense over here per storage actually we're not going to be wasting that much luck yeah that's not that's not as bad as i thought okay it's only two hundred thousand. i thought we were going to be wasting like a million okay let's get the final firecrackers done and then what i think i'm going to do is switch off of the defenses for a little bit and move back to the elixir because i've already kind of explained a lot of the key ones to you let's rotate back to the troops because i'd like to get these maxed i know i can use a power portion but 
I don't want to have to use a power potion each and every time. I'm actually going to go with the power pecker. If you choose to use the battle copter rather than the battle machine, the power pecker can be very helpful in tanking, but also soloing an area of the base. I explained all of this in my troop video, but that ability is also fantastic. I love using it to splash through a couple of defenses that are together. And if there's guard post troops there, it's even better because she just wipes them out in one. After the Pekka, I'm going to go to the cannon cart because if you can find areas of the base where you can outrange those defenses, cannon cart really is powerful. So that would definitely be my recommendation. Honestly, I'm let's see how much it is. 70,000 builder elixir here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 183 gems, but what am I doing? You gotta be kidding me. I swear that was not on purpose. This morning, I made sure to get up to the point where I was past all of these boosts and I meant to collect them on the video. What the heck? That's what happens when an update drops and you're too keen. How much did I just waste? Well, at least I don't have to collect any elixir because I can now get that wall upgraded. And I've lost my train of thought. You guys are probably laughing at me. <laughs> I can't believe it. What have I done? Oh, if you didn't laugh, you would cry. Okay. Well, let's just try and forget about that, I guess. Uh, cannon cart is done. Those are the troops I would get to maximum level first. Then I would go with the sneaky archer for the main reason that you can use the sneaky archers to take out defenses on the perimeter. And then once you have done that, it might enable a baby dragon or the cannon cart to really get good value. Wasn't there builder elixir in here though? There we go. Battlecopter though. Let's get him again because whilst I did say I would recommend the troops over the heroes, for me personally, I don't want to have to use a power potion all of the time. The bomber is very helpful to get you into the base. Whether it is giants, the pekka, the battle machine, it doesn't matter. The bomber can get you into the base quickly. Let's get that to max. I wonder if the Clash of Clans team watch these videos and laugh every time they see how much more money I'm spending than I need to. I bet they do. Bet they do. <laughs> I can picture Darian just really rubbing his hands together. <laughs> After that, I would go with the beta minion. I know I'm going really down the list here, but the beta minion in sniping off buildings on the outside, definitely helpful. If you don't need a baby dragon, then you could just use one minion and then you still have three of them, let's say, to do other stuff. Now the raid medals, let's get one of my builder elixir. You know what? I might as well get the builder gold whilst I'm here. So let's do the battle machine again. Oh, this is the, it was the battle copter we were upgrading. I guess let's try and get the heroes to the same level. That makes sense to do so. The only reason it is level 20 when you unlock it is it, it's unlocked at Builder Hall 8. That's what I would actually recommend is try and catch up a little bit to make your battle copter in line with your battle machine. Minions, maximum level. Oh, we're onto book of everything. I don't really want to use these to be honest with you. I'm going to use one. Let's try and get the battle copter up to level 30. Oh, we got two levels out of each of them. That's great. Let's actually do the walls real quick and we'll do the rest of the defense upgrades. Wall rings. It is slightly different than the home village because every 1 million is two wall rings, but I have lots of wall rings. So I'm actually going to max these out. There we go. Oh my goodness. Let's go through these ones individually since I don't have enough. Okay, back to the trader. Then let's use the raid medals to get these wall rings and then go. By the way, I do just want to mention that I know I missed the 20% boost, but I had like rushed this morning past the 15% to the 20. So I already had the 10% boost active. So it wasn't as bad. <laughs> it was still a little bit painful, to be honest. Okay, now what I can do, go into the shop. Oh, I can't access the CWL shop from the builder base. Maybe they should add that. Maybe add some uh, loot here as well for the builder base. Let's get the hammer of building and the hammer of fighting. And then let's just keep getting wall rings. This might be a little bit tedious in terms of having to go back across to the home village. I guess let me just power through this and we can max out the walls fully.
Okay, we are pretty close to maxing, but I think what I'm going to do now is just wait on these final couple of walls because as I am using the Rune of Gold, it does mean I can get a little bit extra value with that. So let's use the rest of them. I'm not actually sure how many we have. At this point, we should do the Hidden Tesla and then the Archer Towers as I was explaining to you. And we still have plenty of Book of Building. Now, maybe I went a little bit too much on the walls with the wall rings, but I was just in the zone going across to the CWL shop. Okay, Mega Mine. It's really nice that I can upgrade those in order to help utilize the rest of my Builder Gold. Okay, so the Archer Towers are now what I'm going for. Let's finish off these walls then. Why not? Fully max on the wall front. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> we got three over here tricking me. Where are they? Wall. Upgrade. Wall. Upgrade. One more Builder Rune from the Gold Past. Let's get one of those Archer Towers upgrading, and I'm actually going to leave that. Let the Builder work. If you need help with the new hero and troop abilities, I have a video here for you. I hope this one helped as an upgrade guide, and you got to laugh at my mistake. Enjoy the rest of your day.